Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The Walking Dead. The last episode was a Beth and Daryl episode. Um, not what I was expecting. Pretty much taking everything I think I can get from that episode, especially with the way in which it progressed and she and Beth managed to pry stuff out of Daryl and at least get the man talking, if nothing else, because he was playing protector as far as he's concerned and nothing more and she's had her first drink and let the guard down a little bit especially between the two of them so uh i don't know if we're going to get another solo episode with another couple now or whether we're going to focus on more than just two no idea let's go find out just before i do if you are enjoying the walking dead i would appreciate if you give the channel a quick subscribe over here we've got a long way to go yet so let's carry on this is episode 13 the actor himself has very sad eyes. Don't know why, he, ju he just does. <laughs> Even when I was watching him in The Wire. Yeah. <clears throat> Must make you feel like, why are you carrying on? Those sort of thoughts. I, I was with one group and another one after that. They didn't make it? Another one of them? We've moved on. People have a camp. How many walkers have you killed? Wait a minute. Haven't kept count. A couple dozen. How many people you kill? Only one. You got any questions for us? No. Uh, I'm just gonna hold off. <laughs> <laughs> really? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, thank uh, God for that. I didn't say stop. I just said ow. Something came through here. The pattern's all zigzaggy. It's a walker. Pretty soon I won't need you at all. I won't say that. Yeah. Keep on dragging. Yes! Shit! Yes! Oh, shit. Ah, oh, she got caught though. Yeah. We got lucky. We need visibility. And we got six bullets left. She's right. We've been doing good following the plan. No need to get sloppy now. Can we hold up a sec? You all right? I just need to sit down. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a serious piggyback. Jump up. Oh. <sighs> You're having you look. <laughs> <laughs> Terminus. Terminus. See, they're all heading for it. When without we were out on the run to the veterinary town, knowing it, they're just the walking for the any guidance. They were broadcasting? What did it say? I couldn't make it out. I only know because I'm seeing it now. Look at this map. All these tracks from different directions leading to the same place? Yeah. It yeah. says sanctuary. That's just another reason to try. Others from the prison could be there. Tyrese. If it sounds too good. I've just got one real worry about this. It shows all the tracks leading to it, and it's a big place. And of course, that is going to get the attention of anyone who comes across it anywhere in the region. Like Maggie's just said, if Glenn saw that, he's going to think that's where I've gone in case I saw that. Blah, blah, blah. What if it's a bad place? What if it's another... What if it's another governor-type run community because when things appear to be too good to be true in this world they definitely are maybe if glenn saw one of these maybe he felt the same way he wouldn't he'd believe i know is it another woodbury what do you want to do sasha keep making these circles from the bus or are you talking about us starting to do something else there aren't many safe places left so if it's a ruse so be it Ah, uh, right, okay, that makes sense. It's not a house. I don't think you know why you want to stop. Bob, what happened this morning? We get warnings. We did fine. We get warnings. We got six bullets. 
And you're still bleeding. The first one we see, we find a building. Some higher ground to set up in, all of us. That's what we need to do. How is this place still oh. so clean? Oh my God. Peanut butter and jelly. The somebody still here. Diet soda and pig's feet. Yeah, there's someone still here and he's never been raided. Brunch, right there. All right, we'll take some of it and we'll leave the rest, all right? On the way in through the front door. This is the comfiest bed I've had in years. Mm. Really? I ain't kidding. Come on. You gotta follow the tracks, so we can still catch up to her. Sasha. Come on. Still catch up to her. You're gonna leave in no time. Oh, fuck her. Okay, well, maybe in a minute. What the hell are you doing? What's she checking for? Who has been around with all this? It's just a damn dog. Oh. Hi. He wouldn't come in? I told you to stay back. Yeah, but Daryl, you said there was a dog. Still, when I was out here by myself, I didn't sleep much. You're not sleeping much now. You gotta heal. You need to sleep. Bob, what the hell are we doing out here? If Tyrese were alive, he'd go for Terminus. You brought him. I know you know that. So why do you think he's dead? Or are you just too afraid to find out if he is or not? Up until now, I thought you were the toughest person I ever met. Maybe we stick around here for a while. When they come back, we'll just make it work. <laughs> and what changed your mind? You. You know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Shit. Oh, good God. Why have they all come now? She can't run either. Jesus, he's got his work cut out here. <sighs> Surprised he got out of there. That didn't last very long, did it? Where's Beth? Direction did she even go in? What? Oh no! That's whose house it is because that's a funeral car. Oss. If we pick up the pace, we'll catch her. Maybe they were watching you when you when you went in the house. Now, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You were at a crossroads. Fuck. This isn't fair, man. She didn't want us to come. She made her choice for her. No, you made it like you didn't want to go. She's alone. Bad things happened because I was scared. They didn't need to. I didn't need to be afraid. So this is it. You gonna part ways, eh? Doesn't have to be. That's usually a surefire way of finding out where things lie. You don't have to be alone again. Now something bad's going to happen to her, isn't it? Uh, I'm just... Maggie? She's here! Yeah, get down there, quick. You just walked the whole fucking neighborhood of workers up. <laughs> Doink. <laughs> She's using a no parking sign. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that thing would be like a fucking razor blade if you swung it right. I was looking for another walker. Found more than I wanted. Playing dead. You know, I was lying there. And I remembered. I heard what you said back at the camp. 
Ah. Uh, she stayed put. say you thought we should be in a town? Because I was waiting for you. <laughs> I'm not giving up. And I thought that I couldn't ask you to risk your life. But I can. What the hell is this? Well, look at here. Oh, crap. Damn it, hold up! I'm claiming the vest. <laughs> I think we got more of the same here. Oh. A bow man's a bow man, through and through. We got there, 150 pound draw weight. Yeah. These boys are gonna drop you several times over. Mm. Is that what you want? Come on, fella, suicide's stupid. Why hurt yourself when you can hurt other people? Well, maybe he can use them to his advantage. I don't know. At least these three have regrouped. Now Daryl needs to find Beth, but with what he's just come across, I don't know. I hope they're not from the terminus. Huh. Well, guess where he's going. Okay, guys, episode 13. That was uh, interesting. With the the uh, indecision and, and not sure what to do from Sasha in particular, but it's worked out. It didn't quite work out the way I expected it to, but things go the way they're supposed to for a reason. Um, so they've regrouped. She now also knows that Bob likes her. Because he tried when he said i'm going to try something here but she was still adamant i i still think it was a bad idea of what Shas sasha was was contemplating but at least because maggie overheard it all <clears throat> enabled her to realize that she's not gonna be able to do this on her own and stop where she was especially when she counted encountered too many walkers at the same time and now glenn because that's the first time we've seen it has just seen the same sign so they are on the same track literally pardon the pun <laughs> with the train track that the that, that, that all the points lead to the terminus <sighs> the bad thing is what's just happened between it was all going so well that house was too meticulously maintained i think daryl and beth were being watched at the point now normally you would have expected and i was kind of expecting it while it was happening for someone to come barging through the door or suddenly for you to have a shotgun in the background going what are you doing stealing my shit but whoever they were they've allowed them to just stay there my worry is it's a guy possibly on his own i'm just guessing here waited for i think they've kind of steered the walkers in that direction to the house for it to all go to shit because they weren't around and obviously that house has been well maintained for a long time so the walkers haven't been in specifically targeting or going near that house for whatever reason this person was watching for that knew it was going to go to hell have the pair of you coming running out if you survived it i think whoever it is was after beth was after the girl and was just waiting for the opportunity to, to do it knowing full well if they took it head on and tried to take her from daryl it's not going to go quite as easily is it i don't know i could be way off with that but that's where i'd go with the writing with it some sort of weird i don't know guy who's obsessed on finding a younger girl or just just an opportunist tunist I, I don't know it could be something completely different no idea but he's just met another group of guys. Now, this is what I'm saying about when I've mentioned the Mad Max sort of time. Now, is whenever you find a group and there's only men there, there's no women, there's no children or younger, like teens or anything. That's the kind of group that you're dealing with every time. 
There's no law, there's no order, there's no nothing. They can do what they want, when they want, and they will quite easily screw each other over at a moment's notice over whatever it is any of them want if the other one gets to it first. Suicide stupid. Why hurt yourself when you can hurt others? Direct quote from whoever that dude is with the funky skeleton shirt. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just have to catch up with it next time and, and see... Maybe Daryl can try to at least use them to his advantage or to help scout or what. I don't see him just running off with them. And even though they may possibly kind of seem like his kind of group, but I don't know. He's warming to Beth. And when she directly asks the question, why? And he's like, you know, yeah, it's you. She's had a massive effect on him. And just as it's all going as smoothly as it can possibly go, that crap happens. It's just every time. <laughs> I thought I had bad luck. Right, okay. Um, we'll be back with two episodes next week. We are now do, doing two episodes on Patreon and two episodes a week on YouTube, but obviously YouTube's further behind. Um, so you can either watch them on the playlist on there or you can watch the full length over on Patreon. Check the link in the description as always and we'll see you for two of them next week. So that will be uh, episodes 14 and 15 and I will see you for those next week. Till then, uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit sub to the channel and I will see you for the next one. Take care. Don't.